Hey everyone, it's Marla at Twinstrology. Hope you're well. It's been a while since I did a video and I wanted to just jump on and touch base about what's happening with the Twin Flame energy and um, see how you're all doing. The energy's still been pretty intense, pretty tiring. I know I'm very tired and I know many of you are too. Um, so really make sure that you're getting rest and we are coming into a couple of eclipses over the next couple weeks. We've got a full moon eclipse in Gemini on the 30th and a new moon solar eclipse in Sagittarius on I believe the 14th of December. So when we have these eclipses which are four times more powerful than a normal full moon and new moon it's really a good time to do releasing and to set intention. So I do encourage you to do a little ritual for what it is you're trying to manifest. I'm going to tell you about the decks too because I know a lot of you ask me about what decks I'm using and I don't always post in the comments what, what I've used. So today primarily I'm going to be using the Zodiac 108 deck. The, this deck is by my soul sisters, um, Kimberly Aria and Debbie Dubois. They just had a uh, Kickstarter for it, and I think that's over now, uh, but they did get their funding, and they also have another deck out that's very similar to this called the Intuit Oracle. So I'll link to their website in the comments if you're interested, and I'll try to remember to tell you the names of the other decks as we go along. So the overall energy of Twin Flame Unions right now is White Rabbit. Some of the key words here, spiritual awakening, it's time, heeding the call, research it, inner knowing, dark to light, going down the rabbit hole, waking from a dream. I love this card in this deck. And um, yeah, so what is it representing in the overall energy of union? Well, first of all, heeding the call, I feel, it is time for everyone to be getting with the program right now. I know a lot of you are already on mission, but your missions are expanding. Um, this is also for the Divine Masculine, who is also getting the call more and more these days. We have to trust our inner knowing. <sighs> Going down the rabbit hole. <laughs> well, there is a lot going on not just with twin flames, with the ascension, but it's time. <laughs> it's time for the world to start waking up. And there's been a lot of triggers this year for waking people up, and there's gonna continue to be triggers. Now we're heading into eclipse season, like I said, so you can expect some triggers to be happening on the world stage as well. But for you guys that are already awakened, that are ascending, it's time to trust your inner knowing. Dark to light. Okay, there is a battle going on of dark to light. A lot of things are not as they appear. And we need to trust what we're getting in our inner knowing and not get caught up in whatever is going on with the collective energies. But remember, the white rabbit, Alice followed the white rabbit. It's like going deeper into yourself, into your own understanding. And of course, white rabbit also appears in the matrix. So there is an element to this card about the matrix, which is part of our awakening when we understand what the matrix is and how we do have the power to escape the matrix. 
but we're we're always evolving in our spiritual awakening it's not like you wake up one day and you're done <laughs> maybe that happens for a couple people but that's very rare so yes the collective is awakening but we're also leveling up so it's important in this time to also focus on ourselves so that we can make the most of where we're going with our energy So yeah, like I said, there's this element where I'm getting Alice in Wonderland and following the white rabbit, going into the unknown. And for twins, they're trying to follow the white rabbit has a way out, a way out of the matrix, but also a way out of whatever fears, whatever situations, still have a hold on you that's preventing you from living your fullest life and being your full self. Let's just see what the romance angels have to say. What is a message for the overall energy of union for twin flames? Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Well, I think it's really important right now to have a few people at least around you that you can trust and you can talk to. Lockdowns are happening again uh, in the United States, around the world, and we're heading into the holidays. And I know many of you are single out there. And so, you might feel like you're very alone over this holiday season because you might not be able to get to your family. So hopefully you have friends around you that you can reach out to. Try and have a connection with hopefully some spiritual friends. But try to remember that you're not alone and reach out for help if you need it. Again, like there, there's likely to be some trying situations, not, not trying to scare anybody. It won't be anything that, you know, I don't think that we can handle, but it's more like triggers that are going to affect the collective and the collective energies could be very wild over the next couple of months. So if we can stay in our zone and stay balanced, then we're helping the collective energies by doing that. What's positive in Twin Flame Unions is scuba diver. Going within zero point, self-examination, exploring the unconscious mind in the void desire to know, self-reflection, disconnecting, deep thought, subliminal. Wow, I could really go, I could really talk for a while about the key words on this card. So for twin flames, okay, what is positive is that there's some deep diving going on. We are really looking at our unconscious mind and what fears we're carrying in our unconscious mind. For a lot of you, how this is going to play out is you're looking at your worthiness and where in your life are you still holding on to false programming that makes you believe that you're not worthy of love, that you're not abundant, that you're powerless, that you're a victim, that you can't do things, that, um, that you're limited in any way. And we're being guided, in some cases forced, to look at what these subconscious patterns are for us. Because we are at the zero point, or if we can get to the zero point rather, then we have this amazing opportunity coming up to really be in the flow and really manifest some of our deep desires. 
but we have to let go of this programming that's preventing these things from coming into our life. And for many of you, you haven't been able to realize what those things were, but now you're being shown, okay? Um, Self-reflection is so important, like I said. Take time for yourself. If you can get in nature, if it's not too cold where you live, do that. But the self-reflection is important for hearing the messages about what it is you're healing. You have to be willing to look at yourself right now and look at your patterns. I know so many of you are and you've been working so hard and you're getting, <laughs> I don't want to say it's going to end, but you're, you're really fine tuning things at this point. Um, disconnect from the collective when you need to. And it was 11-11 on the counter here. Um, like I said, you may need to disconnect from what's going on. Disconnect from the media. Disconnect from social media. Um, as I said earlier, you may feel disconnected from people because they're trying to cancel the holidays and you might be alone. But try and focus on the positive and focus on how being alone can give you the opportunity to really look within yourself and explore yourself and do some healing. Now, there's this message subliminal on here too. And this is another thing you need to disconnect from because there's so much subliminal messages happening. I think I've spoken about this a little bit before, but I know when I go on social media, it it really, um, like I just see so much subliminal messaging and it's difficult for me to stay, to stay in there because I don't want to be programmed. And that's what the powers that be, the matrix, they're trying to program us very, very heavily right now. So pay attention to the things that are going in your mind. And remember, white rabbit, disconnect from the matrix programming. This is the energy of Sagittarius and Gemini, where we're having these eclipses and where the north and south node are. Of course, the eclipse is happening because the full moon, new moon are near the north and south No, that's what makes it an eclipse so we are very much focusing on programming and mental beliefs and shifting things that aren't serving us anymore what challenges twin flame unions is mirror self-absorbed self-centered self-aware seeing clearly ego Facing issues, self-assessment, self-improvement, insecure, make comparisons, reflection, obsessed, narcissistic, vain. Well, it's interesting. We have two four cards here on either side. This has to do with um, balance. We are in a four year. We're laying the foundations for the coming years. But I think this mirror card fits in here perfectly because part of diving deep into our subconscious is understanding our projections. Where, what energy are we putting out that is being mirrored to us from other people? When I talked about changing your beliefs about what you deserve and what you worthy, are worthy of and who you are as a soul, like you are not just your, your physical body. You are this amazing multidimensional soul that's connected to unlimited wisdom. But it's our ego, it's our programming that makes us believe that we aren't those things, that we are helpless victims, and that it's everybody around us that is trying to take us down. But that's, that's what a projection is. 
So we are looking in the mirror at this time. We're fine tuning those beliefs and we're saying, no, we don't need these beliefs anymore. We don't need people around us to mirror these things because we're beginning to see we are these amazing being of light, that we are worthy of love and abundance and joy, and we can have all of that. So yeah, this is leading to a lot of self-improvement, but there is facing of issues going on. You need to become more self-aware instead of being self-absorbed. Making comparisons. We're dropping that. We don't need to compare ourselves to anybody anymore. We are who we are and we are each special with our own gifts and our own abilities. And each of us with these gifts weave this beautiful pattern of unity. So... Um, there's also things happening within relationships too, past relationships and how those things have affected you and how they've um, created certain beliefs that you have about yourself. So I think these top cards really go together very perfectly. That wasn't very good English, but... <laughs> Bear with me. <laughs> so I'm gonna uh, read a message for the Divine Feminine now. What is happening with the Divine Feminine? And the card is Phoenix, it's a number nine. So we are closing out a cycle. And of course the Phoenix relates to Scorpio. Transformation, eternal soul, renewal, Resurrection, rebirth, destroy, rising from the ashes, emerge, new era, alchemy, transmutation, ascension. The end is just the beginning. So I think all of you that are resonating with the divine feminine energy are feeling this. We are in a leveling up energy, a major transformation because we are focusing on focusing on grounding new timelines, not just for ourselves, but for the collective energies. You know, we're trying to clear this energy out so we can be at the zero point and we can create these new beginnings. And there's so many positive things up ahead, even though there will be, you know, these triggers to help the collective energies wake up. Just focus on the positive. Um, well, transmutation is also a word on this card. So Divine Feminine, you are doing a lot of transmutation, transmutation of the dark energies, shifting energies. It's not to say the Divine Masculine isn't doing work as well, because of course they are. But... Um, they're in a little bit different of a place but it's because all of this is changing all of these things are being let go that we can come into this energy let's pull a uh, surrender card for the divine feminine what does the divine feminine need to surrender surrender to the wisdom of your body Listen to your body's messages about a person or situation. If you feel physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious. If you are energized and happy, move forward. Well, yeah, I mean, this certainly can apply to people, as the card suggests. But I also feel a deeper message here, Divine Feminine, that it's really time to listen to your body because you're going through a lot. You, like I said, you're doing this transmutation. You're doing work at the cellular level, you're taking on more light, you're clearing things, and all of this takes a toll on the physical body. So as I said, pamper yourself, nurture yourself, do things that you enjoy. Um, not only for that reason, but like I said, the zero point, one of the ways that we can get to the zero point is 
by being creative. And that creative energy that we express, this is meant to be our passion and our inspiration. And it aligns us with the universe. And that's really what being at the zero point is. It's like being in alignment, being in a place of allowing, not having attachment to certain outcomes so that any possibility is open to you. I can't tell you how big that is in the energy right now. Letting go of attachment to outcomes with your twin flame. Focusing on you. Bringing joy into your life as best as you can. Because that is the way to open up the door. But this card can also be representing a person. If that resonates with you as a person. Because your body's trying to tell you something. Um, maybe for some of you, you're having doubts because I know that's a challenge for a lot of twins. And if you're thinking about your twin, you know, what does your body say? What feels good and what feels bad? Um, and also we talked about disconnecting. So that might apply to that too. You might need to disconnect from people around you. And I'm also going to pull one of these cards. These are the Magical Times Empowerment Cards by Jody Bergsma. And a friend, a client, sent these to me recently as a gift. So thank you so much, Laura. I love these cards. So let's see what the message is for the Divine Feminine. Okay, well, we've got two. The first one is destiny. Acknowledge your mission, align with your purpose. You have gifts to share with the world. So destiny is calling you. Um, that goes with the white rabbit. Remember heeding the call. More and more I'm seeing you all getting on mission, expanding your mission. I'm so proud of you all. Keep going. You're following your destiny. Trust in that. We also have sanctuary. Embrace the need for solitude. Your inner sanctuary calls you. Renew yourself and thrive. Okay, I don't even need to talk about that one because I've gone over that many times already. Just confirming the things that I've already said. Okay, the energy for the Divine Masculine is 50-50. At this time, things could go either way. This is a number two card. Okay, so balance, but also choices. Um, so what I'm feeling with this card, and this is one of the bonus cards in this deck. It's a timing card, but how I'm reading it for the Divine Masculine's energy is they're at a crossroads. Divine Masculine, you need to make some decisions. What are you going to do? Um, are you going to take action or are you going to remain inactive? Yeah, I wouldn't necessarily read it as a 50-50 or maybe, you know, if you had a question when you started watching this reading, maybe this card is telling you that there's a 50-50 chance with that question. But let's just see. What area is this 50-50 applying to for the Divine Masculine? Okay, the area is Biker. Lone wolf style, impervious, nonconformist, standing up, breaking rules, brotherhood, enjoy the ride, loves freedom, moving on, outlaw, maverick, swift action, need for speed. So yeah, I think this is confirming what I said. What are you going to do, Divine Masculine? Are you going to take action or not? Are you going to... Go for your freedom. 
whatever that means for you, whether freedom is from a relationship, whether it's freedom from beliefs, freedom from some job that you don't like, freedom to be who you are, to speak your truth. Maybe you've been afraid to break the rules. Maybe you've been afraid to be a nonconformist. But now the energies are calling you. They're calling you to stand up, to express yourself, to start living your mission more and more, and to take action. You know, 50-50 relates to the status quo. It's your call. You have free will. You can stay in the status quo and keep doing what you're doing or you can break away for freedom. Let's just see what, what message do the guides have for the Divine Masculine in this regard. Whoops. Okay, well we have two. Library and constellation. Library is knowledge, learning, information, research, archives, hidden, secrets. Look beneath the surface. Reading and writing and then constellation. Network, support, associates, meetings, arrangements, exchanging data. Um, okay. Well, the library, I feel, is saying there's information that you're still looking for, Divine Masculine, and that's this. That's the white rabbit. Um, deepening your spiritual awakening, deepening your inner knowing, heeding the call. I mean, research it is on here, too. Maybe you're not sure about what this connection is. Maybe you're not sure about what's going on with the world. Well research it okay but but you also need to go within I feel as well because this constellation card this is the universe this is the universe saying they're supporting you there is a network of guides angels <laughs> ascended masters everything supporting you you are a child of the stars. And I feel like to find masculine, you're tapping into this more and more. You're tapping into the truth of who you are. And you're wanting to break away from, to, to make this move towards freedom, but you're still dealing with fears. And that's that 50-50. It's like, can you go this route? Can you go deep within your subconscious? Can you look at them in the mirror about who you are and what you've been projecting? Can you see the truth of your soul and the power that you truly hold or are you going to continue to play a victim? I think that's the question for the Divine Masculine. What is the Magical Times message for the Divine Masculine? Another two cards. The first card, confidence. Be bold, rise up and stand tall. Feel the fire in your soul. And of course we have the eagle as the spirit animal on this card. Yeah, I feel that's confirming what I've said, Divine Masculine. Rise up, it's your turn, it's your chance. You don't need to be a conformist. You can step up and be who you truly are because who you truly are is beautiful and amazing and the world needs you. The second card was manifestation. Your dreams have untold energy. Open the door and let them live. Desire and belief are your power. Going back to the zero point, the point of manifestation, healing ourselves, 
so that what we're trying to manifest can come through without us blocking it by believing that we're not worthy. You are worthy. And you just have to believe that you're worthy and all, everything you need is going to come rushing forward to help you. But both twins have to trust right now. You know, and my whole last reading was all about trust. So it's so important to figure out what we're still holding on to subconsciously. Uh, this is the blind spot for both twins tools has what it takes resources build it fix it get shit done masculinity task at hand well prepared okay what we're not seeing is that we have all the tools that we need there's no reason to be afraid there's no reason to feel powerless to feel stuck you have it all within you. You just have to change any belief systems that you're still holding on to that make you feel like you don't. I didn't pull a surrender card for the Divine Masculine. Surrender procrastination. Now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off. Taking action will attract success. <laughs> well, I think there's a message here, Divine Masculine, for you to take action on something. You can't put it off anymore because the universe is calling you. And, you know, when they want you, when the universe wants you, <laughs> You have to follow. <laughs> There's not much of a choice. So let's see. What does the Divine Feminine want to say to the Divine Masculine? What does the Divine Feminine want to say to the Divine Masculine? Okay, the first thing is send me love. So I think the Divine Feminine is you know would like to feel your support even if it's not in the 3d but just to send positive energy towards your divine feminine at this time i mean you know divine feminines are going through a lot of hard times too and have been going through hard times for many many years what else does the Divine Feminine want to say to the Divine Masculine? I'm figuring out our connection. Okay, so I feel what the Divine Feminine means by this. Of course, the Divine Feminine has known about the connection. But there's more layers being revealed. There's a release going on within the Divine Feminine's energy. Um, because I feel like many of the Divine Feminine are realizing that, that there's a need to just let go here. It's going to be what it's going to be. You know, what the Divine Masculine is going to do at this time, the Divine Feminine has no control over that. So they're figuring out that this connection is deeply spiritual and not meant to be controlled. I want to say too, the Divine Feminine, you're figuring out better how to navigate this connection.
my ego is fragile. Okay, that's these cards up here. That's having to go within and find those wounds that are still there and find those places where maybe you don't feel good enough or beautiful enough or young enough. Um, you know, there's all kinds of different hangups that we can have about ourselves. And so it has the Divine Feminine's Feminine is clearing this. Yeah, it's a fragile time. I wanted to text you, but I was afraid to. So the Divine Feminine wants to talk to you, Divine Masculine, but she doesn't know what to say. She doesn't know what your reaction is going to be, or she doesn't maybe even have a way to contact you. Okay, last card, Divine Feminine says, I miss you. What does the Divine Masculine want to say to the Divine Feminine? We have a past life connection. Okay, so the Divine Masculine, um, perhaps you're figuring out um, about some past life stuff. Maybe you're having some visions or maybe you're just saying to the Divine Feminine that you really are feeling the deepness of this connection, that it's a multi-dimensional, multi-layered, um, and it's something that's really not of this world. My parents are affecting me and how I view myself. So, you know, the Divine Masculine is saying that, you know, these cards up here for them has a lot to do with their inner child and, and their parental relationship, and they're still healing that. Um, I am getting that for the Divine Masculine, that there's a lot of inner child healing going on. So, Sama, where you need to dive deep and look in the mirror has to do with what happened to you when you were a kid and why you don't feel worthy enough. Why you don't feel worthy of this love. Why you might be, you know, running away from this love. Of course, that's, um, I'm not trying to project onto you Divine Masculine because both parties run. But, um, you know, perhaps you, you need to look at your inner child to understand why you might not take action, why you may not feel worthy of moving on, but why you may feel like you've got to stay in the status quo. I feel like that's what you're trying to say to the Divine Feminine. Yeah, my inner child needs to come first right now. Confirmation for that once again. You are my happy place. Okay, I need to move slowly. Well, what I'm going to say about this card is that the Divine Masculine is saying, you know, telling the Divine Feminine, I'm a little bit afraid to you know, take a full risk, but I'm trying. I am, you know, perhaps I'm moving slowly, but I'm really trying to move. And I feel like there's still a lot of hurt going on for the Divine Masculine about past relationships or even current relationships that they might be in. There's still a lot of healing going on for them and that I feel that's a message that they want to give the Divine Feminine. So let's see what's up ahead for twins. The first card is fine print. Look closer, inspect, research. Once again, we have that word research. In depth, pay attention, don't assume. 
dive deep. Hidden information, double check, read between the lines. Okay, I think that goes here. What's, what words are standing out to me first is don't assume. Because when we're up in here, when we're projecting our own fears and programming onto another, we're making assumptions. And everything that other people do, not just your twin, but what other people do in your life, you make an assumption. Today I made a post and the central card that came out was deception, which was really about self-deception, I feel, because your own low self-esteem makes you um, make assumptions or projections of your own fears on people when that may not necessarily be what's happening. And I feel like for twins, you know, twins are their ultimate mirror for the other person. So there is a lot of assuming between twins. And when, like, for example, there's no contact, there's a lot of assuming about what's going on. Um, that's all projection and, and we're working through that. So we're still, um, well, we need to heal that. In order to come together, we need to move past the projections, you know, and of course they're good. there might still come up, but that's what really makes it tough to interact with your twin is because they're always showing you your projections. But when you work through those, then they don't need to mirror those projections anymore. You know, obviously with the white rabbit, the universe is telling us we need to look for clues. We need to look for answers. The things that are happening in the world, there's more to it. Read between the lines. Don't take anything at face value right now, but look more closely. I also have the card ballet shoes about the future. Stamina, endurance, talent, repetition. Effort required. Be on your toes. Hone a skill. Laser focus. Balancing act. Expertise. Pursuit of the arts. So, well, the first thing I would say is you need to find your endurance. You need to find your stamina. Because, yep, there's a lot of changes going on. Yep, it's tiring. Yes, we're doing a lot of inner work. You have to find the inner strength. That's where the self-care comes in so that you can find the endurance. Pursuit of the arts here, express your creativity. How about just dance? Like if you're feeling down, if you're feeling depressed over the holidays, you know, dance. Just put on some music and dance around. Um, also, there's new skills ahead. So many people are learning those new skills. You're becoming more balanced, both masculine and feminine. Um... All right, I'm going to just leave it there. And then we have this card, Fairy Tale. Wishful thinking, fables, daydreams, romance story, universal archetypes, hopeful, magic, unicorns and rainbows, disengaged, the impossible, aspirations, and happy endings. We've had the white horse come up several times in this reading, as well as a white rabbit. So some of you may have these animals as spirit guides. But this is saying the fairy tale is real. You can have the fairy tale. You can manifest whatever it is you want in your life. Your life is what you make of it. But there's a happy ending here somewhere. Continue to just follow your inner guidance. Um, you know, but ah, manifestation. These manifestations are occurring in all different ways, not just with your twin. 
you know, but anything that you want, you can create it. And the work that you're doing now, releasing these false beliefs, is helping you create it. Don't attach to outcomes. Don't believe, okay, um, this is something I wanna say about these cards. When it comes to like um, beliefs and stuff and what's happening in the world, what's happening in your life, you can't believe everything because, oh, I don't, <laughs> I can't find the words. <sighs> I can't find the words to put it into what I wanna say. This is what happens to me these days. Um, my train of thought is not so good. I guess I want to say have hope. Don't get caught up in what's happening, what other people are saying. Find hope in your heart and raise that hope. Nurture that hope. Follow your aspirations. Follow your dreams right now. And don't let negativity sidetrack you. That's what I want to say. Also, don't judge things. Whatever's happening in your world, whatever is happening in the outer world, try not to judge it. Surrender to it. Know that there's probably a higher reason for it. And just focus on there's a happy ending coming. It may not materialize in the way that I'm expecting, but I'm releasing my expectations. I'm allowing and I know it's going to show up in my life. What's coming up for Twin Flames? True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. You deserve love. True love is real and it will happen for you. Oh, and look at that, the last card too. Twin flames, I mean, <laughs> double swans, which represents twin flames. See, like when I get tired, and I get tired easily these days when I'm tuning in, and then my mouth doesn't work. The message is elegance. It's found in the beauty of nature, the lotus waiting to bloom. Be the swan on the water and glide. Yet again, another white animal and... Yeah, tw honorary twin flame mascots. So the journey of love card for today is called three to one. We've had this one before. Some of you might remember it. It's a beautiful card and it's number 10. So we've had a lot of, um, we've had the two fours. We had three sevens, actually four sevens in this reading. Seven being a very spiritual number had two nines for endings and now here we have a 10 we had a, a one here for tools um, new beginning energy so the message here is there is a heavenly child in your midst it may be within your heart in your womb or a glimmer in your eye soon to be this child holds the key to the fulfillment of a process that is happening for you now the child might be a physical culmination of your marriage or commitment to another. It might be a symbolic birthing of a new self after a time of learning to bring male energies of protection and discernment together with female energies of feeling and creativity, whether within yourself or in your relationship with another. The child might symbolically be a new life, an improved relationship, a book, a new job, a completely renewed way of dealing with what was once a challenging issue and so soon will not be an issue for you anymore. Just to name some examples, 
from masculine to feminine to child, there is now just one, a new reality dawning with grace. This oracle holds a message for you. New life is upon you now. You are being reborn and you will give birth to what is meant for you this lifetime. There is no need to worry. Just pray with an open heart that you may be supported to fulfill your destiny. You already are, of course, but prayer can help you realize it. The rest is in the loving and capable hands of the divine. Love is what makes the heart beat faster. The lump in my throat, the feeling of missing you so much that I can't wait to be with you again. And then we are, and I look in your eyes deeper, and I know the unspoken words that say I love you and feel words in return. How short each lifetime seems, but what I feel with you lasts forever. May love be the compass that guides you on the course of a lifetime. New beginnings, rebirth. There's no need to worry about making it happen, forcing things. All you need to do is focus on the zero point, follow the breadcrumbs that your guides are leaving you, and trust in the divine. There is a plan and you are part of the plan. So thank you so much, guys. Um, that was the Journey of Love card by Alana Fairchild, by the way. Um, and I also used the Romance Angels by Doreen Virtue and the Power of Surrender by Judith Orloff and my own cards. So. If you would like a reading with me, I am booking readings right now. Um, you can go to my website, which is twinstrology.com, and I am doing online um, quantum healing sessions as well if you're looking to do a past life regression. You can find out more information about that on my website, or you can email me through my website. I'm sending you guys so much love. Try not to stay away so long again. Hopefully my energy is going to come back soon. Happy Thanksgiving and I'll speak to you soon.